Hello and welcome back to another YouTube video. I am so excited for today because it's going to be a full day of eating. It is a rest day today, but honestly, I eat the same amount of calories Monday to Sunday, whether it's a rest day or a training day. I'm currently eating around 2000 calories. This morning, I woke up at 4.45 and I went to the gym to just do some yoga and some walking. It's been horrible weather here in New Zealand, so I don't really get any steps outside just because it rains most of the time. But I am excited to show you my meals. I've got a couple of new recipes to try today, so hopefully they turn out okay. If not, well, this video would probably be quite pointless. But anyway, I hope that you enjoy this video. And as always, if you do, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and smile. Since it is winter, I thought I would make a big bowl of wintry protein oats. So I've been cooking my oats on the stove top recently, and I thought I would try something a little bit different today. The ingredients for this recipe are going to be some kind of milk. I like to use vanilla almond milk, cauliflower rice. You could use fresh or frozen. I've got a frozen one here and then egg whites, mixed berries, some protein powder. I'm using the ghost cinnamon cereal milk flavor, some cinnamon, and then of course oats. Such a random lineup for a bowl of oats, but I'm excited. So I've tracked everything on my fitness pal and I'm just going to portion out the ingredients. So I've got my cauliflower rice but I'm just going to zap it in the microwave because it is frozen just so that it defrosts a little bit and it's nice and soft when I mix it in with the oats. While the cauliflower is defrosting, I am going to stir my oats a little bit. So this is just the vanilla almond milk, the oats and some cinnamon. The oats are starting to soak up the almond milk now, getting nice and bubbly. So the cauliflower is almost done and cooked and I will add that in. The cauliflower is cooked, so all I'm going to do is add it into the oats, turn down the heat a little bit just to simmer it. I don't want my oats to burn. Mix it all in, stir it around, and it looks like I'm going to need some more liquid, which I've been doing this week when I make my oats as well. So I turn the heat down and then just add in some water. Pour in some water. You don't want too much. You just want the oats to soak it up. Yum, smells so good. 150 grams of mixed berries. So I'm just letting the oats soak up or the liquid looking so nice and voluminous. The cauliflower rice really just adds to the volume, like 60 grams of oats isn't a lot. I'm a big eater, so by adding in 150 grams of cauliflower rice, it just makes it into so much more volume. Going to tip my berries in. Swirl them all around. It is bubbling away nicely now, so I'll stir it around, and then the last step to this is to turn the heat right down and stir in, oh, I just completely missed. Stir in the egg whites. So you want the egg white to cook, but you don't necessarily want it to come out thick and white. You want it nice and fluffy. So you've just got it on a low heat, stirring it around a lot until it's just cooked through. It's such a big meal for just 60 grams of oats. Okay, it is bubbling away. It is all cooked through. It's time for me to turn the heat off and dish it up. Last thing to do is to stir it through some protein powder. This is, of course, totally optional. Smells so good. Not my prettiest meal ever, but it tastes so good. I am going to tuck into my oats, do some squad plans and emails, and then I will jump back on to show my mid-morning snack. Yes! I've just spent a couple of hours working on squad emails and plans, so it's time for me to have a snack. I do like to eat a lot of my calories earlier on in the day, but I'm recently trying to kind of spread them out throughout the day so that I'm not too hungry at night. But anyway, it is time for me to make a McMuffin! Kind of like McDonald's, but not 
out. So I have an English muffin, I've just cut it in half and I will toast that later on, it's only 131 calories. Then I have some chicken rashes instead of bacon, so it is lower fat, so it's pretty much protein, but it is really processed, so I usually only have this like once every few months, or you know, like one pack every few months, and then I just need one egg. Light spray of olive oil. Fun hack to cook an egg, you can place, like evenly, you can place the lid on top like that so it gets nice and hot and cooks it right throughout. When you take the lid off, you'll see that my egg is cooking nice and well through. Well and truly cooked without me breaking the egg by flipping it and it looks like my muffins are done. And all you need to do is just flip it over and you have an Egg McMuffin, yeah. So, so simple but delicious. So this little creation was inspired by McDonald's and I decided to make it a meal on my Fit With Aunt Julie meal plans. So it's just an egg and rasher muffin, but I put cheese in the menu, like in the recipe, just in case people wanted to use it. I didn't have any cheese, so I just went super simple done it was honestly ready in five minutes it's lunchtime. i am so hungry today i've been struggling working away trying not to eat everything but i will show you how i prepare my lunch and it's going to be kind of like a meal prep one so i'll cook lunch for today and tomorrow earlier this week i was sent these ingredients to make some nachos they even came with a recipe card, so I thought I would make up this recipe, but I'm not actually going to have the tortilla chips. I might just have it with some vegetables instead. The main idea of this recipe is that you can use half the amount of mints you would usually use, and you just chop it up with some mushrooms. So you're kind of using half the amount of mint and making the rest of the mints with the mushrooms and blending it all together. I'm not gonna bother blending my mushrooms. I'm just going to dice them up. crying so much right now <laughs> cooking this meal no <laughs> So I won't lie, that was the first time I have ever even used any of those seasonings, but let's try a little bit. So I've got a little bean and some mint. Perfect. Oh my gosh, the flavoring. I wanted to try, oh that's hot. <laughs> I wanted to try a little bit of the juice and honestly I threw in so much chili off camera but I think this is going to be the perfect snack for either like a naked burrito salad or with pasta or with some nachos. So now I'll leave it to simmer till it's all nice and hot before I dish it up for my lunch. This took me 10 minutes to make and it's already done so I'm just going to let it cool down and then split it into separate containers. So in terms of how I track a meal like that, all I do is go to my meals and I actually have it saved here. So this is all the ingredients that I used in the recipe. What I'm going to do is just add half a serving because I'm splitting it into two meals. So I'll have half tomorrow, half today. So there you can see everything is halved. So for tomorrow, if I wanted to be having it for say breakfast, I've got everything tracked there. 
So now all I need to do is spoon it out and split it into two portions. So I'll put all of it into here to get the weight and then I'll take half of that out into a bowl to have for lunch right now. Here I can see it's over 1.2 kilos for the whole thing. So it's going to be about 615 grams per meal. I feel like this would go so well with some nachos, but I do really want to have an ice cream today. So I'm gonna save my carbs and fats to have an ice cream later on tonight for dessert. This <laughs> is so much food, oh my gosh. Just goes to show how much volume you get when you chop up mushrooms to serve with a meal. That is so much food for my lunch. The seasonings and the flavorings in this dish are absolutely delicious. The only thing I think it is missing is some cheese, sour cream, and nachos. I almost forgot to show it. I have some strawberry jelly, so it's a low calorie jelly. My go-to snack. Strawberries. All I do is microwave these to defrost them and then drizzle them with some sugar-free maple syrup. I enjoyed my dinner so much the other night, just pasta, veg, and some sauce. So I'm having it again. I'm going to be using a chunky vegetable mix, which is cauliflower, broccoli, and carrots. I've got my pasta, an Italian made one. So I'm absolutely loving this right now, but I'm all out of it. And then as always, I am using this pasta sauce. So this one is a tomato, garlic, and basil chunky pasta sauce. Part of me wishes that I saved some of my beef mints to have with this pasta, but that's okay. I can just have a vegetarian dinner. This is honestly the most simple dinner. Put in my veggies with the pasta and just let them cook. Super simple, all I need to do is tip in my strained pasta and then top it with some pasta sauce so i'm just using 125 grams i ended up topping it with 160 grams of pasta sauce oh my gosh delicious this was a super simple full day of eating video i have been busy working all day so after my dinner i will be finishing with my favorite ice cream a chocolate trumpet it's only 250 calories it's absolutely always worth the wait when I save a dessert for after dinner. So I'm super excited for that. But anyway, it's time for me to tuck into dinner. And then you know what? I love sharing my meals so much with you from today. I'm going to film all my meals tomorrow as well. So I'll show you what I'm eating tomorrow. So you get two full days of eating in one video. Why not? Dessert, but the bottom of my going broke. Happy Friday well it depends what day you're watching this video on but anyway today I trained lower body and I went into the gym to do sumo deads for the first time in a very long time I don't remember doing sumo dead since before my last competition in October and I hit the heaviest compound lift I've ever hit 130 kilos Oh my gosh, I just went into the gym. I felt really strong. It must have been the ice cream last night. But anyway, I felt really strong. I started with, I think it was, you know, my warm up, and then I did 80 kilo deads, 95 kilo deads, 100, 100, 110, and then 120. And then I thought, you know what, let's just go for 130. And I did 130 kilos for two reps. So I am high on life right now. I feel like this week has been amazing. And I just want to share that with you. But today I'm going to show you my full day of eating. I have a super busy day ahead with squad plans and emails. Getting ready for the Better Me Kickstart 2.0. But yeah, it's breakfast time. I'm hungry. It's 9.30. I waited a while to eat this morning after my workout because I had to do some lives and things on Instagram. So let's get started with breakfast. Super simple today. I've got some oat protein peanut butter cereal milk flavor, my absolute favorite, and then some almond coconut unsweetened and this chocolate. This Valrona chocolate is so addicting. I have not opened this bag because I was scared I would eat the whole thing, but I'm trusting myself to stick to my macros and film exactly what I eat today. All I'm going to do is let my oats just cook. I haven't put any protein powder or chocolate in it yet. I just want my oats to fully cook. And I'm all out of cauliflower rice today, so it's gonna look a lot smaller than yesterday's oats. 
One thing I'm loving about oats is how quick they are to cook. Anyway, that's nice and thick. It's time to dish it up and add in some protein powder and chocolate. Just added in a dash of milk to cool it down and I'm going to add in 25 grams of peanut butter protein powder. So I really don't like to put protein powder into hot oats straight away just because it can go really gritty. But this way it is nice and smooth with the added almond and coconut milk. And then I'm just going to top on some little chocolate pieces. Perfect. And there we have it, my protein oats. Super simple and so delicious chocolate peanut butter vibes. Let's get that melting. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Time for me to eat my breakfast and get some work done. Mid-morning snack, some wheat bit. Okay, so I have been running around doing some errands, including getting some Lego for Ross. But anyway, it is time for me to have lunch and I have been waiting since yesterday for this lunch because I said it yesterday, it's nacho time. And if you couldn't already tell from this video, I'm in such a good mood. This week has just been amazing. Like the Better Me Kickstart 2.0 has been kicking off. I love seeing all the day one photos coming in. Uh, my Instagram is blowing up with incredible DMs from everyone supporting my journey and it just means so much to me. So honestly, this week is amazing and I cannot wait to go away tomorrow to spend the weekend with Ross's family as well. Happy and Julie, but it's nacho time. So the remainder of my mints from yesterday, I'm just going to heat it up in the microwave and serve it with some nachos. I got sent these little tortillas. They're nothing fancy, like they're not high protein or anything like that. These are all the ingredients. Pretty macro friendly, not the worst in the world. So I will be having 45 grams of them. I feel like there's way more mints than there are corn chips but that is okay I'll probably just have some of the mints on it and some of it plain I feel like it would be much better if I had some cheese sour cream and guacamole but this will do I'm so excited for it anyway afternoon snack is super simple it is some Weight Watchers custard and some mixed berries so all I need to do is tip this into the pan add some water heat it up and then put the berries in The custard is thickening up so quickly, so it only takes a few minutes to thicken and you have to make sure that you stir it the whole time. And I prefer to do it on the stove top instead of in the microwave, just because I feel like it gets a better consistency. Instead of defrosting my berries, I'm just going to pour the hot custard on top of them. And that is my afternoon snack slash dessert. <laughs> Okay, it is six o'clock. I finished work for the night. I'm so tired. It's a Friday night and honestly, I just want to cook up some dinner, have dessert and chill out. So I'm gonna start with some chicken and veg stir fry. Super simple dinner. I have some Chinese stir fry vegetables. So it's just a frozen mix, some chicken and it wouldn't be an unduly full day of eating without some Brussels sprouts. So I'm gonna chop those up, defrost these, cook my chicken and then stir it all together. So all I'm doing is browning the chicken in the Brussels sprouts and then tipping in all my frozen veg. Stir it all around. Sauce wise I have three options. I could use a tamari soy sauce, a teriyaki sauce, this is my all time favorite one, coconut aminos seasoning, or I could just go for some straight seasonings, to be honest. My zero calorie go-to is definitely Himalayan pink rock salt and garlic powder. So I'm going to go with that tonight. Sprinkle of salt and some garlic powder. All I need to do is dish it up. I'm having half tonight and half tomorrow for lunch. So I'm just gonna estimate it because it averages out anyway. Like. If I'm having half today and I've tracked half for tomorrow. And that is my easy chicken stir fry for dinner. And of course, dessert is a trumpet and Gotham. 
that wraps up a full two days of eating i hope that this video gave you some meal inspiration as you can see i love having ice cream as dessert but anyway i am going to leave this here i'm going to chill out and enjoy my weekend and i'll catch you in the next video bye